Hi everyone! In our last video, we talked about how to name alkene and alkyne structure. And the question might be arised for some of you that if we have a structure that it has more than one double bond or triple bond, what should we do and how could we name it? Okay, let's name Cetera structure. As you see in this structure, in step one, we have to find the longest carbon chain that the double bond is put on that main chain. If we start naming in a straight way, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six carbon. But if we start naming from the up to down in the curve way, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight carbon. So in this way, we have more number of carbon that the double bond, and to say it better, the both double bond is contained in this way. We choose it as our main chain because we have most number of carbon and the double bonds are in this way. So step one is done, but we don't name it yet and we will name it in the end of the video. Okay, in step two, we have to specify the substituent group. In here, we have two substituent group. Uh, we have a color, we have a methyl and another methyl in down of the top methyl or methyl. Okay, step two is done to so easy for us. In step three, we have to start numbering our main chain. If we start numbering from down to up, we will face the double bond or the first carbon that attached to double bond in carbon number five. But if we start numbering from up to down, we will see the first carbon that attached to double bond in carbon number one. So the right way for numbering is up to down because it is closer to double one so step three is done too now it's time to name our chain we'll get help from the notes to name our structure as we know we have to start naming from the substituent group in here we have a chloro and two methyl and we know we have to start naming from the substituent group that it's closer to a in alphabetical order and you know the chloro start with c and methyl or methyl start with m so c is closer to a and it's attached to carbon number five so we'll write five dash chloro okay after chloro we have two methyl that one of them attached to carbon number five and the other one attached to carbon number six and we know we have more than one same substituent group we put die for two three for three and the other so we have to write five comma six dash di methyl because one of the methyl attached to carbon number five and the other one attached to carbon number six and in the end we have to write our main chain that all of our video is about our main chain that we have more than one double one in here i have to tell it when we have more than one double one or more than one triple one put the number of our double one in order di three tetra penta hexa and the others between the number of main carbon chain and our kind of all hydrocarbon for example we put in the end of our number of carbon a and e for alkane we put e and e for alkene and we write y and e for alkyne so we have to put the number of our double one and triple bond between between number of carbon and kind of our hydrocarbon. In here we have two double one. So we have to write octa because of the number of our main chain. In here we have eight carbon in our main chain. And then we have to put di as we have 
two double one and at the end we have to write the kind of our hydrocarbon that in here it is alkene because we have double one and it will become oxygen so now we'll write the name of our main chain as not one in here we see it we have to write the number of first carbon that sticks to double one the first carbons that attach to double one is our carbon number one and carbon number Number three so we'll write after dash one comma dash oxygen so the name of our structure is revealed